Happy Sunshine family. Lunacy's back for part eight of Hat J's post trial filings. We're taking a look at document number 150, the standing order of appropriation and allocation. This is very non standard. Uh, I believe this is going to be about. Uh, that 48 quadrillion dollars that uh, Heather had ledgered uh, and filed back, I believe this was hmm, during the identity hearing maybe, or the detention hearing, I can't remember which one. But let's jump over and take a look at uh, this latest filing. Uh, a cover sheet here by Francis Lloyd Jr. <clears throat> the United States District Court, Eastern District of Tennessee at Knoxville. It's the United States of America v. Heather Antucci Giraffe, case number 3 colon 17 dash CR dash triple zero 82 dash zero zero two. The Honorable Thomas A. Varlin, Chief U.S. District Judge, the Honorable C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Chief U.S. Magistrate Judge. Notice of filing. The defendant, Heather Antucci Giraffe, hereby files standing order of appropriation and allocation. Respectfully submitted by Francis Lloyd, that's Hat J's Elbow Counsel. <clears throat> and we got a certificate of service uh, that this document was filed electronically through the court's electronic filing system. And this document starts off with the boilerplate form, pre-printed form that BZ is given to Heather. And this is one of the old ones where she had to write in the... Uh, Deborah C. Poplin case number are the ones with her initials on it and also put in the one colon and the, the, the first one for the 17 there for the identity hearing. All right, all caps and underlined. Written in Heather's golf pencil or with Heather's golf pencil. Roman numeral, uh, standing order of appropriation and allocation. Roman numeral one. Ellipsis, being duly issued, filed, served, and noticed for all to rely upon in conjunction with the standing declaration of dishonor and honor. Issue date, February 14th, 2018. Standing order to cease and desist. <clears throat> Issue date of February 15th, 2018. And standing order of null and void. Issue date, February 2018th. <laughs> February 15th, 2018, excuse me. Standing final judgment and order uh, reconfirmed, the word reconfirmed bracketed by asterisk. Issue date, February 15th, 2018. If you want to know what those documents are talking about, you can see the previous videos that are in this series. <clears throat> Each of those restated and incorporated here by reference, as if set forth in full, issue date, February 15th, 2018. So this chunk here, Roman numeral one, this paragraph, is saying, I'm repeating myself. I want you to imagine all of the text from my standing declaration of dishonor and honor, my standing order of cease to cease and desist, my standing order of null and void, and my standing final judgment and order reconfirm. Pretend those are all printed right here and read them again. <clears throat> it is ordered, all caps, that in the universal cleanup, support, sources, and resources does include all sums ledgered pursuant to document 55, restated, subject to additional ledgering incurred for immediate due appropriation and allocation at the sole discretion of Heather Antucci Giraffe for and in honor. Signed or dated February 21st, 2018. Signed Heather Antucci Giraffe. Printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. We've got an Annex A here, and it says at the very top, in love, gratitude, and peace, and that's repeated, and that is bracketed and asterisk, bond, prepaid, 
pre-authorized, pre-approved, and that's repeated again across the top. <clears throat> so this is example only as written in golf pencil here. This is, this is really interesting. Upon presentation of this bond, the CFO and Data Integrity Board are hereby ordered to make a true, accurate, and complete audit transfer or transfers by ledger accordingly and payment in full therefrom without hinder or delay pursuant to this deposit and transfer order and any and all documents, files, and accounts referenced and incorporated herein, especially the addendum and memorandum of law number 2012-127914 and 2013-032035, without prejudice, inclusive of pu public policy UCC 1-308, slashed RCW, which I believe is the Revised Code of Washington, uh, 62A.1-207, governed and protected. So what those code sections are right there, that is where we get the verbiage without prejudice from, and it is this section of law that talks about the words without prejudice being words that can be used by... Uh, someone to reserve their rights under law. Governed and protected public policy UCC 1-103 or the Revised Code of Washington 62A.1-103 Remedy duly preserved, protected, and guaranteed by public policy UCC 1-305A with equal right for Every embodiment, UCC 1-305, subsection B, and all international equivalents thereto and restated and incorporated by reference as if set forth in full, now we're all caps, with duly bonded identification authority and standing. <clears throat> Memo, equity call, reimbursement for commercial bill number 2012-1145. 586 due to obligor's failure to render services prepaid by obligee true bill number 2012-114776 duly foreclosed secured and guaranteed by addendum and memorandum of law number 2012-127914 and 2013-032035 under perpetuity and restated and incorporated by reference as if set forth in full. The obligee deposit orders, that's account name, Heather Antucci Giraffe, uh, employee identification number, treasury direct deposit account number, which would be her social security number, uh, back office number, not sure what that means. Local file number, a routing number, ABA. I'm not sure what ABA is. Original depository and deposit established. I'm guessing this is Heather's birthday of 30 July 1972. And her maiden name of Heather Ann Kreisman, I guess. Kreisman? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Authority, authorization, and security agreements. USA and corporation date, 1st of March, 1781. USA reorganization date, the 4th of March, 1789. Perpetuity document number, 2043135. Receipt number, 36090. Security number 2012-079-290 and 2012-079-322. Addendum and Memorandum of Law 2012-7914 and 
32035, commercial bill number 2012-114586, true bill number 2012-114776, original depository and deposit reference number DODD hat J 0730-1972. Receipt reference number DOR OPPT hat J DODD hat J 0730-1972. Obligor withdrawal accounts names United States State of inclusive of any and all fiction of law creations as byproduct and incidental thereof, including offices, officers, agents, actors, employees, assignees, successors, or licensees acting as voluntary commercial indentures, known and unknown, inclusive of United States Treasury, Federal Reserve Bank of New York, Internal Revenue Service. Obligee Warranty. I am the sole custodian, trustee, operator, manager, bookkeeper, and record holder of this original depository and the valued domicile therein, inclusive of any and all transfers and exchanges of said value, inclusive of representations of value, if any shall be duly identified, designated, authorized, and evidenced by the conscious, duly verified, executed, wet ink signature and thumbprint seal of Heather Antucci Giraffe, original depository of eternal essence. Therefore, knowingly, willingly, and intentionally delivered for value, funds guaranteed by issuer done this day, and to fill in the blank, by the power of I, without prejudice, inclusive of public policy, UCC 1-308 or the Revised Code of Washington 62A.1-207, governed and protected public policy, uh, UCC 1-103, and the RCW counterpart, Remedy duly preserved, protected, and guaranteed by public policy UCC 1-305A with equal right for every embodiment UCC 1-305B and all international equivalents thereto restated. So this whole bond page is just an example that Heather's giving as part of this filing. Annex A. So this... I'll dig out the video where I talk about uh, this, but the, the amount of dollars that is on this sheet is uh, it's really beyond comprehension right now. So Heather had filed this. This is an accounting and ledgering. Uh, I duly verify, validate, and certify that this declaration of statement of assessments excuse me, reconciliations and state and settlements for July 18th, 2017 to October 18th, 2017, and the amounts duly declared, accessed, reconciled, and settled therein as true, accurate, and complete. So <clears throat> she's finding them all this money for unlawful, unauthorized and unlawful seizure, detainment, and restriction, trafficking of duly registered, secured, and notice state of body. Um, and, and this is her discounted rate of $10 billion per second. Um, and each one of these are separate ledgered items, and they all total out to, if, if I remember correctly, 46.8 quadrillion, I believe is the way you say this. Let's see, here's the millions, billions. Wow. Where are we at here? There's the millions, billions, trillions. So is this quintillion then? 46 quintillion? 836 quadrillion? <clears throat> One trillion? Ten billion dollars? Is that the way? Is that the right way to say that? It, 
I don't know how to comprehend that amount in my head. All right, <clears throat> another certificate of service and a golf pencil here. I certify that on February 15th, well, February 21st, the 15th is crossed out, initialed by Hat J, 2018, a true, accurate, and complete scan of the foregoing original was made and caused to be electronically filed. Notice of this filing will be sent by operation of the alleged court's electronic filing system to all alleged parties indicated on the electronic filing receipt. All alleged parties may access this filing <clears throat> through said electronic filing system. Dated the 21st, corrected from the 15th and initialed of 2018. Heather Antucci draft signature printed Heather or excuse me, original Heather Antucci Giraffe. And another certificate of service uh, from William Thomas Ferguson III, dated the 23rd of February, 2018. I'm guessing that's the 23rd. Looks like it started out as something that looked like the February 33rd. All right. <clears throat> so that takes us through document 150 of Hat J's pretrial filings and the next one is quite a doozy and uh, I can see why Heather really wanted a pencil sharpener. So if you have any love lighter links for me send them to lunacy at protonmail.com and we'll be back shortly with the next one. I love you guys. Bye bye.